This is Medication Minute, and in this video, we're going to review lidocaine, also known as xylocaine. Lidocaine hydrochloride is an anesthetic antidysrhythmic. You know it as an anesthetic when you utilize it for IO administration to that local anesthesia that you provide. Also, you may see that that's used during sutures at the hospital. Before a physician does sutures, they'll inject local lidocaine. That's the anesthetic properties. We're going to talk a little bit about the antidysrhythmic properties as well. As an antidysrhythmic, it is specifically indicated in the acute management of ventricular arrhythmias because it is a class 1B antidysrhythmic, meaning it is a sodium channel blocker. So you see lidocaine there next to class 1B sodium channel blocker, and it can use, be used in cardiac arrest to replace amiodarone with all the medication shortages. This may be where we have to utilize lidocaine instead of amiodarone. You'll see amiodarone is a class three antidysrhythmic, but it also has class one properties, class two and class four properties. So it's got calcium channel blocker, sodium channel blocker, beta blocker properties, potassium channel blocker properties. It's considered a non-selective cardiotoxin, if you will, where lidocaine is just blocking the sodium channels is why it's really good for ventricular dysrhythmias specifically. And it is approved by the American Heart Association. Lidocaine has the same recommendation from the AHA as amiodarone for a shockable arrest. So we know the dosage for IO site pain is 40 milligrams IO over two minutes, and you're going to flush that with saline. Whereas an antidysrhythmic, the first dose is a lot more than that, 1.5 milligrams per kilogram. And the second dose would be 0.5 milligrams per kilogram in replace of your two amiodarone doses when treating a shockable cardiac arrest. As an antidysrhythmic, the pediatric dose is one milligram per kilogram. So again, lidocaine is, is a potential replacement for amiodarone in the shockable arrest. This was Medication Minute.